What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. Yeah, we're shaking, guys. How y'all living out there? Shout out to the free thingers, of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on Def to Radio, D-E-A-F number two radio, our Instagram. Uh, make sure you guys follow us there. The information for that will be in the description below. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you get all our videos as they drop up and coming artists. You know what to do, man. Click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in the front of one of our up and coming videos. Get you some exposure. Or if you have a full video, we can get you done on that as well. Either way, man, um, information will be down below. So we're doing the uh, Simba's version of Control, right? Didn't Kendrick do a Control back yeah. in the day? You know, so he's going to do a little freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Okay. We've done Simba before, man. We just figured, I mean, we just got a few. Shout out to everybody that's uh, sent those re requests to us in our DM on Defter Radio. Uh, we just got a few people. This wasn't an overwhelming amount of requests, but you guys said that he Simba kind of jumped in the ring a little bit and did his did his thing on the control beat. So I figured, why not? We rock with Simba. He's up and coming. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We've liked uh, what we've heard for the most part from Simba. So let's let's just get into it. Let's see what his take is on this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? Obviously with the Drake and J, J. Cole and uh, Kendrick and everybody else in rap on mainstream beef. Let's get into it, Simba. <laughs> Control freestyle. They say the rap game all fucked up. Numbers is down, the yeah. niggas act like bitches. Yeah. So the girl is that how it starts? It starts right out. Or is I that just me? They say the rap yeah. game all fucked up. Numbers is down, the niggas act like bitches. So the girls grew nuts. <laughs> niggas <laughs> capping to the camera too much. Go broke, get on a podcast and disrespect they man's come up. Y'all boys worse than dope that's cut. Cause niggas step on everything instead of stepping their priorities up. Your baby mama drive a Ford that she can't. Uh-huh. You said they go broke, get on a podcast, and disrespect their mans come up? Let's act let's not act like we haven't all seen it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's not, you know, let's not, you know. We've seen it. That's true. You said the, the girls grew nuts. What do you say? Let Something me, like let that, me, let yeah. me pull it back. Hold the on. Game's fucked up. It's all fucked up. They say the rap game all fucked up. Numbers is down. The niggas act like bitches, so the girls grew nuts. <laughs> niggas capping to the camera too much. But go you know. Even when you know, obviously there's there's there's, there's there's lines for entertainment value, but when I like when there's still truth in it, even if it's exaggerated, I like being able to pinpoint. Oh, there's some truth in that. Right? Uh -huh. The numbers is down. The numbers have been down as far as hip hop is concerned. That's true. You know what I mean? And dudes is acting, you know, feminine. You know what I mean? So the gr the girls grew nuts. Uh -huh. I can talk about the feminization shit, you know, but we ain't gonna go down that road because that leads to all types of <laughs> copyright strikes and shit like that. So the bottom line is, I understand what Simba's saying. That's uh -huh. all I'm gonna say. The numbers is down in dudes, so the girls got. And when he says the girls grew nuts, the girls are taking over. Yeah. Right. The girls have been. When you think about who's popping outside of the big three, you think a Lotto, you think of uh, Glorilla, you think of Megan Thee Stallion. Yep. Nikki's still killing it. Cardi pop is popping in, in and out, but she's still relevant. The ladies in hip hop actually have been probably making a little mm -hmm. bit more noise in terms of the mainstream yeah. than, than the men. You can make an argument for that. So he's saying the, when he says the girls grew nuts, I think that that's what he's he's referencing. You know what I'm saying? The girls had to take over yeah. and, you know, and handle business and shit. Anyways, <laughs> all right, man, let's keep it going. Go broke, get on a podcast and disrespect they man's come up. Y'all boys worse than dope that's cut. Cause niggas step on everything instead of stepping their priorities up. Your baby mama drive a Ford that she can't even afford and now she got a clean floors for them kids that you ignore. We living in a war where most women is wanting more than what the nigga that they typically end up with can afford. So niggas going broke buying bottles and renting forms cause even if she Ain't yours, she yours, it's out there yours the They like Simba, drop some music So I guess it's time I've been acting and designing, bitch, I'm getting fly I'm two steps ahead of you niggas Who next in line, these lines we mad ass Rappers be sounding washed and dry They say I need a song with so and so, I'm not surprised But every time I send a verse These niggas petrified It's time to kill the rap game for a second time I'm doing drive-bys in a test I'm sorry, and I know this is a horrible stop Because he, he was in a mold mm -hmm. right there But when he said, um I'm not surprised, and when they send, every time I send these dudes a verse, they're petrified. Mm -hmm. Not surprised, petrified. It needs to be cop some fries. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It has to be. <laughs> That's horrible. Don't say cop some fries, but you got to rhyme each syllable, man. Not surprised and petrified. Just, you got to have them two syllables line up. <laughs> dot to die, dot to die. Like, I hate, like, that to me is a amp that symbol can rap. But I just don't like when rappers don't rhyme. Like, you got to hit them syllables, the way, especially when you're punching. I'm sorry. Let me pull it back. But I, I say that because I like Simba, and he's nice. But a lot of rappers are getting too comfortable 
you know, ignoring those like technical elements, man. <laughs> Line them syllables up. Not surprised. Dot the die. You know. So, anyways, that annoys me. But what did he say about? Oh, uh, yeah, go ahead. Please, yeah. <laughs> please, please, please. Because I'm getting picky and shit. Sorry. But what did he say about uh, dudes step on everything except except stepping their game up? You know, doing what they're supposed to be doing, and women got to drive Fords that they can't afford. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, basically, he's just. Shit, I don't want to say shitting on the game, but he's basically saying the shit is out of balance. It is. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers it is, it is out of balance like a motherfucker. Yep. And and I think he uh I think he held both sides accountable, right? Because he said something about you're not even paying for your kids, you're not even paying child support, but you stepping on everything. I think that means that's the street way of saying, like when you say you stepping, you know what I mean? You a big stepper, you mm -hmm. on some street shit, you're yep. ready to you're ready to step and get violent. You worrying about all that, but you can't even you ain't even taking care of your kids. Mm -hmm. And then I think he was kind of saying that women's expectations were out of balance, right? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean, you were a dude and you expected him to make all this money and this and that, and just a good old blue collar, a dude that has a good old blue collar job making good solid money is not good enough anymore. You're you're chasing, I guess, celebrity money. Women are chasing celebrity money. So now all these blue collar dudes need they feel the need to be in a club popping bottles, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, renting, renting foreigns, putting up a facade to impress women that yep. have unrealistic expectations as well, I think is what he's saying. Yeah. So he's saying, you know, he's saying a lot yeah. of, I like the energy. Yeah, let's, let's uh, keep it going. That's an electric slide. I look the devil dead in his eyes like I ain't scared to die for damn sure. I ain't scared to go to war with a friend of mine. Pushing through sunset, lighting up with the top down. Barbershop convos about who sit at the top now. The big three fucked up cold, gave up his spot now. Can't say you top five if you scared to be hostile. I remember feeling your pain when you let Nas down, but you didn't let Boz down and Kaz down. You <laughs> Let the squad down. Can't say you the goat if you ain't popping it. We ain't trying to hear all them apologies. Dot told you niggas that he usually homeboys with who he rhyming with, but this is hip hop and you niggas should know what time it is. Okay. Yeah, y'all gonna love that. Yeah. I, 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 I think there gonna be people like, who the fuck is Simba? Like, they're gonna be, this gonna be that crowd. And then for the people who, uh, do, who rock with Simba and know of Simba, they're gonna love it. They're like, yeah, Simba. That's right, call that dude out. You know what I'm saying? He folded, Jay fold. He let Kaz down. He let Boss down. You know what I'm saying? He let his squad down. And there's some truth in that because in that apology, what did J. Cole say? He said, oh, my man's, I can see my man's up there right now. Like, nah, don't do it. Don't yeah, do it. Uh, so I'm assuming, you know, Boss, that you can, you can make the, uh, you know, the assumption there that Boss and his whole crew was sitting there like, please don't apologize, man. Yeah. Please don't have us out here, yourself out here looking crazy and our squad looking crazy. So that holds... A little, a little bit of weight. Yeah, what did he say? The big three is fucked up. Cole gave up his spot. You know what I'm saying? You can't say you top five if you don't get hostile or mm -hmm. you're not willing to get hostile, something like that. Yep. So I don't know, man. I just feel like, you know, everybody just throwing their hands in, in the ring, man. And it's like, oh, my God. I, I think what it is, Ryan, is that when, and this is me in general, when I feel like, like us even talking about it to me is just tough because I feel like when you see someone getting ganged up on, that's why we didn't even address the apology because I'm just like, yeah, the whole internet is just trashing a dude and this and that. And, and I just feel like a lame being yet another person just jumping into melee and shitting on somebody else. Like, kind of kicking a man while he's down. Yeah. That's how I feel. And on top of that, people are sensationalizing their takes and saying all types of crazy shit. So it just comes off very goofy to me. Yeah. Like, people are just overreacting, being melodramatic. I do think that Cole des deserves some smoke for a misstep. But I just think some of the things I'm seeing, I just like, I feel like me and Ryan just feel like, nah, we don't even want to be a part of that corny shit, the jumping off. Yeah. I feel like Simba's looking at this as a marketing move and he's looking to stake his claim as well, like just trying to get on people's radar. I get the, I get the move by Simba. And he's the, he's the young, hungry artist that wants to be the guy. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I do think mixed up with the Royal Rumble of all these mainstream rappers and him jumping in, it can kind of feel like overkill. He said something in here, man. He was just like, you know, you can't be top five. You're afraid to get hostile, man, and all that. Like, I just think that, that, that again, those days is over, bro. Them days is over, man. Mm -hmm. we, we, the hostile dudes, the dudes that are really, really about that and from that naturally are just kind of a dying breed, yeah. and that's probably a good thing. We had our gladiators in the 90s. Yep, we true. loved it. It was great. Unfortunately, some unfortunate things came of it. But yeah, it was, it was a time to be alive, baby. Let's just focus on letting them be good guys, man. They just aren't cut the same way, all three of them. You know what I'm saying? It's just, that's okay. You know what I mean? It's just a different era, man. Mm -hmm. Accept it for what it is. I think J. Cole, I think we may look back on this moment as 
when Battle Rap died. I think this. <laughs> I think that's it. Because it really is in nature kind of corny to just for dudes to just be Disney each other constantly. You it know? is. We love it, but it's just kind of like silly to like, okay, at a certain point, let's move on. Yeah. I think we may look back on this and be like, yeah, that's just, this, that's the nail in the coffin. This motherfucker apologizing. Us. Okay, we done. Just focus on being a love and uh, <laughs> healing trauma and shit like that. Everybody, all y'all, all y'all good dudes. No more gun bars. No more tough talk. Just be nice guys and just speak your truth, man. Don't, don't worry about fitting in with old school street guys and shit like that and, and, and degenerate regular. <laughs> you know what I mean? Let us let us 90s people be degenerates, man. Be better than us, man. Just, so just, it's over, man. But I do appreciate Simba's energy. I love that he's yeah, hungry. Man. He wants to be, you know, in, the, in certain conversations. And this is one way to do it. You know, I think he's the first one that I've seen jump out to kind of get his name, his hat in the ring. So I think from a marketing standpoint, it makes sense. And Simba can rap. So he did a, he did a solid job on this one. And I got something else to say, man, you know, about this whole J. Cole Kendrick beef, man. Jay-Z and Nas had a real, hey, they had real problems. Jake was smashing Nas's baby moms. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It wasn't too street, but it was like legitimate, like, <laughs> tension, right? We know 50 and Ja Rule had yeah. real street beef. Mm -hmm. We know... Uh, um, Biggie. Biggie and Pac had mm -hmm. real street beef, right? The point is, there was real a real problem. There was real tension that was built up. And I think we ex were expecting J. Cole to have manufactured tension to then come at somebody that he's cool with. And it's just not the same. Again, they're good guys, man. They don't, they don't, they all, all of these guys, I think for the most part, tend to stay away from wanting to really have real smoke yeah. with people. They do things or say things that show all of us that they're not really the type of dudes that want to to have disputes. That's just not in their nature. So why are we trying to make dudes that's not like that, like that? No pun intended. Like that. Really like that. <laughs> really like that. You know what I'm saying? And that's a good thing. Let's move on, man. Let's just let's just move on. Rap, Battle Rap died with that apology. That's just the bottom line. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's good old-fashioned wholesome rap from here no, on. No, 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 no. It ain't that. It, it definitely ain't that. Oh, God, I hope, <laughs> hope it won't be that. It's entertainment. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like watching shoot 'em up movies and shit. You know what I mean? That don't mean I'm really gonna go out there and do it. You know what I'm saying? These I just, do be doing it though. It's entertainment. That's the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> entertainment. Yeah. You know what I mean? Keep it, in a, just keep it in the music. But, but man. keep it real. It's entertainment, but keep it real, man. You know what I'm saying? If you're not, if you're not, you know, you know, involved in certain activities, just be yourself, man. I don't, I don't want to see. If this is just pure in any artist, you know what I'm saying? Only in hip hop can someone pretend to be something else and then they be glorified. Stop pretending to be something. Else. <laughs> be entertaining, as in make good music, but just speak from your own truth. You know what I'm saying? Whatever that may be, and that's just where we are. We we can, we can't make guys street guys. We can't make them. Yeah, that's true. Be you know what I'm saying? Ruthless killers that want to assassinate and humiliate. He, he did. Everybody's not 50 Cent, man. Everybody's not 50 Cent who will beef with you until the day you die. Yeah, They're true. not that, man. So let's just go. Let's put a nail in the coffin. A battle rap. It ended with the apology. That's not where we are anymore. And let's just move on, man. So shout out to everybody. Kendrick, Cole, Drake. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> shout out to Simba. That's it. If you guys enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, follow us on Defta Radio, D-E-A-F number two radio. That's our Instagram. That will be in the description. I'm George. That's Ryan, Las Vegas. We out.